Neighbors in Gates County are sounding the alarm about the possibility of a new fox pen planned for the neighborhood, and they're raising concerns about lower property values and what would happen if the animals escape. They want county commissioners to make the hunting training tool illegal. Ted on your side's Kayla Gaskins talked with a concerned homeowner. Well, citizens say there are enough fox pens already in Gates County, so when they heard that a developer had plans to put another one in this empty lot right behind me, they decided to go to the county commission. Timothy Williams' property backs up to this 244-acre lot. The ditch is five foot deep, three foot wide. When he started seeing development activity, he began asking questions. He learned someone planned to build a new fox pen. This uh, yellow dirt is the road that's around the perimeter because they need that when they go in and catch their dog. Fox pens are fenced enclosures where people pay to have their hounds pursue wild foxes and coyotes. Well, our biggest concern is is that they're going to put uh, fox, uh, coyotes in here. Virginia passed a law in 2014 to phase out this controversial practice over a span of 40 years. It's still legal in North Carolina. This is no different than you having a dog fight. According to the State Wildlife Commission, there are currently 106 active fox pens in North Carolina. Williams and his neighbors fear the foxes and coyotes could escape and roam their backyards. They get out. It's just, it's just how it happened. You cannot keep a wild animal caged up. He's going to come out. They also say this business will negatively impact their property values. No one wants this fox pen in their backyard. At the county commission meeting today, Williams asked for Gates County to place a moratorium on fox pens. We are, land, we are homeowners, we pay taxes, and we should have a voice in what is placed in our neighborhood. The moratorium Williams is suggesting would allow existing pens in Gates County to be grandfathered in. According to Williams, there are four in operation right now, and no more could be built. The commissioners will discuss the issue at the next meeting. In Gates County, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.